All right, hi everyone. We're gonna do a quick installation video for the Senfu Torque Sensing Bottom Bracket. I've got the bike ready to go here on the stand. Uh, I've cleaned the threads at the bottom bracket shell. I've marked my hole, and uh, we're gonna start doing a drilling operation shortly. What's really important before you start the drilling and before you install the bottom rack is that you clean out the threads from your old bottom rack. If you've got a new bike, it's not a problem, but if you had an old bike and you're just removing and installing a new kit on, you're going to want to make sure that those threads are really nice and clean. Alright, so this is all the tools you'll need to install your Senpu. You need a 1 8 inch drill bit, a quarter inch drill bit, a 3 8 inch drill bit, a center punch, a deburring tool, a drill, a standard wrench, a lock ring tool, and a bottom bracket tool. So what I'm going to do here is actually make a mark as to where we want the cable to exit the shell. If you see on this bottom bracket there's a hole here existing for a cable guide but that hole is going to be in the wrong spot. So I have to make sure I drill the new hole far enough away that it won't interfere. So I'm holding up the bottom bracket here against the shell. On the Senpu bottom brackets the fixed cup or the cup with the flange on it is actually on the non-drive side of the bike. So I've held that up here I'm going to make my mark for my cable exit above that existing hole so that there's enough room that the cable won't get caught in that other hole. So before I start drilling, I'm going to make sure to make a center mark on that mark we made previously so that the drill bit won't wander. Just like that. Now that the center's all marked, I'm going to start by drilling an eighth inch hole. We just ate two glasses on and then a quarter inch hole, make sure you use loop. And then finally the 3 8 inch hole for the Senpu bottom bracket. After I've drilled the hole, I'm going to make sure to deburr to get rid of all of the uh, sharp edges so the cable won't damage itself. Make sure you blow out all those chips too. Before installing the bottom bracket, we need to make sure we grease the threads. I'm going to put a little bit here. A little bit here. So to install the Senpu bottom bracket, first we need to disassemble components. And we have our plastic ring here and our fixed cup here. And these both these items go into the non-drive side of the bike. So you can start by threading the plastic spacer into the shell. We use our bottom bracket tool to start threading it in. Once the plastic's inserted a few millimeters past the edge so that there's fresh threads, you can start putting in the steel cup. The steel cup has these teeth here to turn both at the same time. Just when you're finished installing it, you're going to want to torque this non-drive side cup to 40 newton meters. The next step is to feed the wire in through your hole that you drilled previously. Once that wire is in there, you're going to want to try and align the exit of the wire with the hole as you insert the bottom bracket. You can double check how good of a hole you drilled and as well the alignment just by looking at the hole right here. This to me looks pretty good. So now we're going to install the drive side cup. Now this has two pieces. It's got the cup that presses into the frame, holds a bottom bracket, and then it's got a lock ring. When we're installing the cup that goes into the frame, it's really important that this cup does not get over tightened because that will just compress the bearings and stop the bottom bracket from turning. So I'm just going to install it with the tool first, just snug. All it needs to do is make sure the bottom bracket doesn't slide side to side. Do you see this snugginess? Ooh. You should always double check to make sure that there's no play after snugging up that shell. Once that's installed, we need to put the lock ring on. Lock ring just threads on on the outside threads and make sure that that cup can't come undone. So you'll need a lock ring tool. The torque spec on this is another 40 newton meters. This alignment dot is very important. It needs to be aligned with your seat tube when the crank set is aligned with the front wheel. Now that I've got the alignment of the dock track, I'm just going to install my crank set.
Now that you've got the sensor installed, you can finish wiring it up to the Psychoanalyst 3. If you've got version 3.1 or later, the Senpu is a default setting in the past devices. If you don't have 3.1 or later, you should upgrade your CA3.